<laughs> if you ain't sneezing, it ain't what? Here we go. That's <laughs> all. I have a towel right here. We're gonna throw this away. <laughs> I'm so slow. Hold up. Hold up. Out of town, thugging with my rhymes. I don't know why I'm singing that song. What's up, Barb? What's up, kids? It's your girl, Life Size Barb, and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I ain't never cooked on YouTube before, so we finna start, and I'm a little nervous because I can cook, but I can't cook, cook. Like, I can't, can't cook nothing without a recipe. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. But today, I will be cooking salmon, which is my favorite thing to eat. I can eat salmon all day, so that's why I picked it because, you know, that's the easier thing to cook. And then I'm gonna cook some green beans, some fresh green beans with it. They're not really fresh because they actually process in the bag, but we gonna put that little narrative on it to make it sound good, okay? And then we're gonna do red potatoes because who don't like red potatoes? And you can't come in here saying potatoes, you gotta say potatoes. And that's about it. Oh, and some garlic knots. Them hugs be busting. Garlic knots bust. I love them. Great. So that's what we're gonna be cooking today, y'all. And then we're gonna get drip to try it. Isn't that right? Okay. It will be Q&A style. Y'all just not gonna see me cook and just get it over with. I asked y'all to ask me some questions on my Instagram and y'all did. Some of the questions are very not, okay. Y'all, Y'all just be in my DM saying crazy stuff and I don't appreciate that. But for the ones that did ask questions that I can actually answer, thank you guys. And then I guess I'll just like throw some other questions in there because a lot of a lot of the questions weren't really Yo, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bells on so you notify every time your girl posts. Head over there to my Instagram at It's Life Size Barb and give your girl a follow. Now, let's wash these hands. We gonna cut the water on because this water get real, real, real hot. I got this um this soap from Bath & Body Works as a gift. I didn't get it from Bath & Body Works, they did. I got it as a baby shower gift. And it smells great, mm, 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 mm. Make sure you wash your hands for 30 seconds. Spell your name four times. B-A-R-B-A-R-A. B-A-R. B-A-R-A. B-A-R. B-A-R-A. B-A-R. B-A-R-A. Okay, now you can wash your hands. Ooh, that should get hot. Here we go. Now you can wash your hands. Oh, that stuff is hot. Oh, Lord. My theory is the water be so hot because it's so hot outside and the sun be beaming on the pipes. So even the cold water is hot. That don't make sense. Anyways, so where do we start? Because I don't know where we start. Let me go get some, something to dry my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with telling y'all the seasonings that I have. I have the Tony's. This one was actually different. It said more spice, so I think it's spicy. I'm not sure, that's why I got it. So we are gonna try it, and I'm not really good at, uh, I don't know why I be trying new stuff, because I don't be liking it. But good thing I'm not eating it, here it is, okay. Um, then we got the salt and pepper. You know, regular, regular. Then the garlic powder, powder, onion powder, and then olive oil, and then obey. That's all we're using for this meal today. The first ingredient that I'm gonna start off um, cooking is the potatoes because the potatoes take longer than everything else. And I'm not gonna make a mashed potato. I'm gonna make like a cube, I mean, not a cube. I'm gonna dice them and then boil them how they are and then season them. So they're not gonna be like dicing anything. So the first thing we gonna do is we gonna wash the potatoes off, potato off, and then boil them and I would say on medium and stuff, but we just gonna try some shit and see what happens, okay? I'm not really good at this. I just be going with the flow. I told y'all I'm not good with instructions. I'm gonna start off with six good potatoes. So one, I wonder if I can juggle these. Are you single? Why y'all wanna be in my business so bad? 
Like, get y'all some tea. Bless you. Get y'all some tea and get out of my cup. But I'm going to answer it since y'all want to be my business. No, I am not single. Okay? And don't be asking me who my man is because my man is my man. Okay? Y'all, honestly, mentally, I am so much better. I'm actually doing stuff that I like doing, surrounded by people that I love, and I'm just in a much better headspace. So mentally, I'm doing great. My relationship was with God is strengthening. My relationship with people are strengthening. Like, I'm the type of person that will isolate myself. And so I, I found that out about myself. So I'm like, okay, girl, you need to actually like do something different so you don't feel like this. So I've been like holding myself accountable with like, you know, talking to more people and hanging out more and stuff like that. Cause I will really be in my bed, minding my business, but that's not gonna get you nowhere, but in a depress depressing state. So I've been doing better with that, which has been helping me mentally because my friends, not, my friends and family not gonna let me just, you know. So mentally, thank you for asking me that mental health check. How are y'all mentally? How y'all feeling? Can we expect more from you? Yes, I told y'all I was gonna be more consistent on my channel. So yes, y'all can expect more videos. If y'all have not already watched previous videos that I posted, um, I did make an announcement that I have a new show coming up. I haven't announced the name of it yet. I don't know when I'm gonna announce it. I know the name of it, but I'm, you know, I like to gatekeep on certain stuff, but I am having a show and I'm not gonna go in detail what, it, what it's about because the video's out. So go check that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What's your body count? Head ass. No, I ain't telling y'all that. No, but I, it wasn't as many fingers as I put up. But y'all, that's too personal. Stop it. Stop it. So what you want to do is, guys, you want to think about somebody that you don't like, right? And you want to take this potato and you want to lay it down and you want to just cut it like you're mad at the like you don't like the you know, just cut them in itty bitty pieces. And you know, that's how it's going to look after you're done. So this this is a this is very therapeutic if you're thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to really go to jail. You just take your anger out on the potatoes. Kidding, guys. That's not the way to deal with, you know, aggression. Go to therapy if you need it. All jokes. Okay. So now that we have the potatoes with the potatoes with the water in here, we're gonna put it on the stove. Um, I don't really know how long or anything, cause like black people, we just kind of watch it until we think that it's done. So we're gonna come over here. And because I got other stuff to do, I'm just gonna put it like on medium lowish. That's not even a real thing, but hey, we're gonna put it on like between low and medium so that it does slow cook, but you know, it don't cook that fast because I got other stuff to do. Um, what I was meaning to tell y'all was throw some salt and pepper up in there. We are gonna put some pepper up in here. Don't be stingy, be very generous. It's a lot of water in this pot. <laughs> All right. Y'all, what's one thing that y'all use a lot of? As y'all can see, it's me and this paper towel. Maybe me. I can use a whole roll in one day. Kind of ridiculous. How right. can I book a hair? Oh, baby, you want me in your hair? You trust me? I love it. So what you do is you just go to my hair page at, at Barb Braids and Beauty. You follow it and you DM me for a booking. And you just let me know like what type of hairstyle you want, what size length, and then you send a deposit and then you book, baby, and you ready to go. You ready to get slayed and not betrayed. Cause I'm gonna make sure your hair is laid. Hey, that's a bar, stop playing with me. What was one thing you learned while in jail? Don't ever commit a crime. <laughs> no, um, one thing that I learned while in jail was to not take things for granted. Like, you know how we just living out here. 
So when things like your freedom get taken away, you really realize, dang, I really had it good. Like all that complaining, it will humble you. Let me just say that. All that complaining you doing right now, not nearly as bad as what you will be experiencing in jail for real. So maybe like to be more humble, um, be more grateful for the things that I do have and stop thinking about the things that I don't have. Stuff like that. What are some of your goals and aspirations? Some of my goals and aspirations is, um, well, one of my goals, say one of my goals right now, something that I have said is to stay consistent on my channel and grow it, like make it grow, but by doing like the things that I want to do. So like actually taking, actually doing things that like I enjoy doing and having fun with it instead of doing what other people expect of me. So that's a goal to grow my channel with the content that I want to put out. And um, another goal is I have this show coming out and I really want it to do good. So like I'm making sure I put my all in this. So it's like my little baby. So I'm making sure like I give it my all so that I can get the results that I want. Like after putting it out and stuff. Um, more goals. Y'all want a, a car? I'm not going to tell y'all what car I want. But I, one of my goals is to have it by December. So I need to work hard for that to happen. So that's like driving me to, you know, be good, be consistent, do great. Um, and I want to eventually buy a home for myself before I'm 30. So I'm working on like credit. I'm working on like, you know, being more responsible with money and stuff like that. What are some of y'all's goals and aspirations? Put those down in the comments because I read them, baby, and I respond. So put that in the comments. I want to know. I'm nosy. How long have you been knowing your best friend, but Oh, God. Me and Lex go way Way back. <laughs> Since, um, I just hurt my knee, y'all, and I'm really trying not to show that it hurt. But, um, I've been knowing Lex since we graduated in 15, and I knew her those two, two years in high school that I went to that school. So I would say like 2014, because it was the second semester. So me and Lex have been friends since 2014. So push pause on the questions. Now that we have them rinsed out and stuff, like the uh, salmon clean, you just gonna put it on a paper towel and make sure that like it's dry. So like keep flipping it over and stuff. Normally I get fresh um, salmon from HEB and I had to settle with Walmart, but it's okay because we finna try it. And like I said, I don't gotta eat it, drip do. So y'all, I told y'all what seasons I have. Tony's, Obey, y'all heard what I said when I said it. First, you're gonna start off by putting the oil on it, getting it real saturated and stuff with the oil. You're gonna drizzle, don't go crazy because you don't want it to be fried. You want it to be grilled steaming, so don't go crazy. So we're just going to razzle-dazzle, razzle-dazzle, razzle-dazzle. And I really razzle-dazzled it enough for both sides. So we're just going to rub it in like a kid in the morning when they go into school. Y'all ever seen them babies with all that oil on their face? Why y'all be doing y'all kids like that? I really, I really don't understand. Stop putting all that oil on them babies, okay? That ain't even cute. Then they sweating and got the oil dripping down in their eyes at the playground. Can't see. <sighs> Just adding medical bills for nothing. You gonna rub that in. Keep rubbing. Like you giving somebody a massage. Two fingers. Massage it in. To all fillets. This fish kind of dry because this side. Hold on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get in there. Who's your favorite sibling? <sighs> I don't have a favorite sibling. <laughs> I don't have a favorite sibling for real. I mean, I do, but I don't. Like, I love all of them the same. I feel like I'm just closer to some of them, but I don't consider them my favorite because the ones I'm close to get on my nerves. So, you know, it don't really, yeah. I don't really have a favorite sibling. I'm close to all of them for real. Now, the first thing we're gonna season it with is Obey. Y'all be generous, but not too generous because you don't want your food salty, but you want it like just right. So you gonna just pat the booty like it's a baby's bottom. 
and really, you know, season it, y'all. Don't be stingy with that seasoning. Get in there. Like swimwear. Okay? Look. Don't that look good? If you ain't seasoned, guess what? It ain't seasoned. But no, I'm not done, so I'm not seasoned yet. Okay. Now you're gonna flip it on the other side. You're gonna do the same thing. This is real repetitive. Salmon is really not that hard to cook. Like, that's why I cooked it, because it's easy and quick. Our potatoes over there doing fine. I almost forgot about them. See? <laughs> I don't belong in the kitchen. It's okay, though, because I be trying. You know, I'm cooking for mine, okay? Okay, so now that we have the salmon seasoned, it's time to put it in the skillet. I should have been putting the olive oil in the skillet and the heat up, but that doesn't take that long to do that. So let's go over here, follow me. Don't judge my pots, okay? We be cooking over here. <laughs> what you're gonna do is light it, ignite it, and then you're gonna put the olive oil in the pan. And you're gonna let that heat up. You're gonna let that get warm and stuff because you don't want your, your salmon to stick to the pan. That's not cute. So I'm gonna bring this over here while that gets ready. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off the green beans. Ooh, y'all, y'all be thinking your girl be shopping at these big name brand stores, but no, your girl be shopping on the budget. I'm gonna go to Zara when they having a summer sale for 70% off. We're gonna be at DD's discount. We're gonna be at Target. We're gonna be at Forever 21. Y'all be really sleep on Forever 21, but keep sleeping because every time I go, I find something to wear. And I love that about Forever 21 because they never let me down. It's these stores called Wave that's like, they're really small stores. They remind you like a gossip and stuff. They have those in every mall. Y'all need to go check them out. That little shirt, Go check out my other vacation haul. But the little shirt that I had is like mermaid, wave girl. Oh, oh my God. I, I could talk about clothes all day, but we ain't gonna do that. But no, seriously, if y'all want me to talk about more of like fashion and stuff, I will. Just let me know what y'all wanna see and I'ma let y'all in on my little tips and secrets. But I do not spend that much money on my clothes. The only thing I spend money on is shoes and purses. But my clothes, baby. No, but I make sure I buy quality things though. So that's the thing. So like my stuff be of quality, but they don't be expensive. So yeah, all these stores that I checked out, I me mean, said, go check them out. Now we're gonna rinse off the green beans. Ooh. I've been in that gym. Now, I be being lazy and I just put water in the bag and just, you know, move it around because they ain't like too dirty, right? Y'all don't, don't quote me on none of the stuff I'm doing. Make it your own way. This ain't really no strict recipe. I'm just showing y'all like I can, I can do something in the kitchen. But maybe next time I do a cooking video, I'm gonna actually find like a good recipe. But I, I was looking at recipes and it was just stuff that I was not jacking like, I wanted something good and all that stuff was giving unhealthy fat. Even though this is not the best, but I mean, ooh. We're gonna make it do what it do. And now y'all, let's start on the salmon. Come on over here. Do not be afraid of the grease, okay? It's going to pop back, but you gotta jump back fast enough so you don't feel the pop, okay? So I'm giving y'all a heads up. See? <laughs> Easy. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay. See, you only gotta jump back like once. Once the fish first touch the first touch the uh skillet. Now we're gonna wait till that side gets brown. And like I said, what we gonna do? We're gonna clean up our mess. So we ain't gotta clean it up later. So let that little, you know, that do a stain. Go ahead and get, get a, a close up on that. Don't that look good, y'all? Would y'all eat in my restaurant if I had one? Yes, no, maybe so. And if I did have one, what should I call it? Barbecue.
Okay guys, remember it doesn't take that long for salmon to cook. So make sure you're watching it because I damn near burnt this. So once one side is cooked, just flip it. On the other side, ooh hoo 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 hoo. Don't it smell good? Like, get it, get it. Yes, it smells amazing, okay? Get you a girl that can cook. Cause who wanna eat Hot Pockets and cereal every day? And it don't even take that long to make this. You know, just season it up. Y'all also, I have been neglecting, I have been neglecting my potatoes. So I'm finna stir them babies up. And I don't have no big spoon, so don't judge me. They still a little hard, but now that the salmon is on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up higher to get it to cook a little bit more faster. And we're gonna go ahead and cover it. Cause the salmon's almost finished. What's y'all favorite thing to cook? I wanna know. Or if y'all cook, what's another way to make salmon? Cause that's literally all that I eat. Now you're gonna put it on the sides too. Cause I hate salmon that's super pink. I like my salmon well done. And I know people are like, girl, no. Girl, yes. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta be well done. Like some people eat their salmon like this. You see how it's pink? This is not a sushi bar. Baby, cook that salmon. And stop playing with your life. Salmonella. Don't y'all wanna come eat with me? Oh, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me for real, cause I'm Big Barb, not the little one. Now we're just gonna put this in the microwave so that it can stay warm. While the other stuff cooks, don't be looking at me like that. You know how black folks do. We can always warm it up, y'all. So now, I'm gonna throw them up in here. Could give it its like flavor. I'm, I'm gonna leave this up in here, okay? Do it. I don't know why black people say do it. My grandma told me to always cook in the grease that you cook your, I don't know. Just listen to what she's saying, 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 saying. I sound slow. We're gonna drop them in there. We're gonna cut it down, cause what? That's crazy. Right? Roll them around and get you some olive oil. That's why you need a lot of this. And you need to get the green beans moist. Like, you know? Okay. So they gonna get their seasoning. Your salt and pepper, garlic powder, and a little of your um, Tony's, and you're gonna get it right. Like that. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared. If you ain't seasoned, it ain't seasoned, okay? And I like my green beans to be like crunchy, but still kind of like not too hard. Because it's not coming out like I want it to. And I'm not gonna use salt because this is already salty and we don't want to ruin it for real. So don't use this. Use this honey. Now come look at it. You're just gonna saute them until they're soft. And this is gonna take a while because these are some pretty thick green beans. So when they're done, I will get back with y'all. Okay, so we're gonna start making the bread right now. These are garlic knots. If y'all haven't tried these, I'm putting y'all on right now. These are the best. Oh my gosh, just try them. So um, I think it's like six in here. And they only make, they only cook for 45 minutes. So first we gotta preheat the oven to 425. So come on. We're gonna make like a butter garlic sauce. My grandmother used to make this every time she would make either like crab legs or something and she would put it on there. So it's really good for like potatoes. It's really good for crab legs. It's really good for like just adding that extra mm to whatever you eating or whatever you cooking. So what you need is butter. This looks like a lot of butter, but it's gonna be melted down. So, and it's going on potatoes and salmon. Butter. And then you need garlic pepper. 
And that's over here. You're just gonna put this in there, however much you think you need. Like if you want it to be like really seasoned, look, be very generous. Cause the butter is butter. So like it's gonna melt. All right, stop doing all of that. I'm coming. Damn green beans. All right, hold on. This is gonna piss me off. Look, I said I was coming. Impatient, wanna get out the pot. He's so impatient to get out the pot, he finna get eight. <laughs> Anyways, put some of this and then add some Obey seasoning to give it that like seafoodish like taste. Cause Obey, baby, if you want it, if you want it to taste like a crab bowl, all you need is this, okay? Put a little bit of that. And we're just gonna let this sit in this pot until our potatoes and green beans are done. But this is how it should look when you're done seasoning it and you know, putting it in there. And then also, after it's melted down, if it, did, it still doesn't give the right taste, you could always add more seasoning. So don't be as generous, but be generous while you're in here. And then after, if you feel like it needs some more, just add some out. Are you doing anything special to celebrate your one year release from incarceration? Who asked that? Who asked that? Optimistic 315. And I love the name Optimistic. OMG. I didn't even think of that. Cause that's something I don't want to think about. And I push really, 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 really far in my head. But that is actually a good idea. What do you think I should do? Wow. I like that. I really do. Okay. But no, I don't have anything planned, but now you're making me think I should because you know, I was like only pushing it back cause it wasn't something I want to remember. But now I should like celebrate that I'm actually like doing, you know, what I want to do now. Like I'm out, I'm free, flourishing, blossoming. Yeah, I should do that. And you're going to be invited, so DM me. One thing you find yourself doing. Um, hmm, that is unintentional. Y'all, okay, this is, this is more so a serious thing. So, when I be praying, I was I was raised thinking you gotta like get on your knees and like pray and stuff like that. So I started getting on TikTok and I started seeing people say, when I'm praying, sometimes I'm sitting like this, right? And I'm really praying. So I do that a lot. Like I'll be in the car and I just, it look like I'm not doing anything serious, but I'm really like praying. And I think that's un, un, unintentional because I used to think I gotta go home, get on the side of my bed and pray like that. But really you don't have to pray like that. You can pray like, I could be praying right now, stirring these green beans. You want to know it. Now that the potatoes are done, I'm going to put this back on the um, stove. We're going to stir our green beans a little more. I think they done. I turned the heat up on this butter because it ain't going to take that long to melt. Look at it. Just looking like it look. Get back up. Not that close. Hey, y'all always trying to be up in my face and stuff. Back up. It ain't even hot. Okay. You just gonna pour like a little bit over here. I might need to make some more. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's enough for the thing. the thing about the potatoes. You want to put that lid on there, you got to shake it up a little bit, okay? Cause every potato needs to be touched. I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing I don't know now. Ooh! Stop playing with me. Please stop, that looks great. Very great. Now back on up and let's get to this oven. Four to five minutes, okay? Hey Siri, set a timer for four minutes. Okay, so I have pretty much 
finished up the cooking. So we have our salmon, we have our potatoes, our grilled um, green beans, and our garlic knots. So now we're gonna get Drip to taste it and he's gonna give, I guess, a Keith Lee critique. And he's gonna be super honest with me. Tell me if it's too salty. Tell me what I could have done better, what I could have added, what I could have not added, all that good stuff. And here you go. So he's gonna start off with trying to salmon. Get in there. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay, so what, what could I have done different? I don't really think there's anything you could have done different. It's well seasoned. It's not salty. Um, if, if this is your style of cooking, I, I like it. Okay. All right, now let's dig into the potatoes. Now, y'all know it took a while for the potatoes to cook, so I had to start those off first. I had to put them in the water. They boiled for the longest, and then I made the butter sauce for them. Salmon was definitely like pal with the seasoning. Five, I'd say five out of five. Potatoes, I give it like two point five. Why? I don't know. They not. They just regular potatoes. I I thought you put a lot of seasoning in there. Right. Okay. So this is the thing with the potatoes. I didn't want to like over season them because you know potatoes can be very salty. So I tried to like season them while they were being boiled and I knew I should have been more generous because there's a lot of water in the pot. But I also tried to add like the the butter to give it like the extraness. I don't like salty potatoes. But I should have cooked knowing that y'all was gonna eat it. But okay, I'll take the 2.5 drip. Now let's get into the green bean machine. Now the green beans, they weren't like the fresh green beans where you pick them from like the nutrients the produce uh, produce place they were packaged so it took a longer it took longer to cook these to get them soft and i think i seasoned these pretty well so we're gonna see what he gives this i still want them to be crunchy but still sauteed to where you know you got that fresh crunch but it was still you know tastes pretty good i like green beans a lot so it's hard to season these type of green beans too, though. I know, that's why I'm, 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 I'm tasting them like you actually did a good job on me, just considering what you had to work with as far as like them not being fresh. Right. So, mm, 4.5. I'll take it. I'll take the 4.5. And then now the garlic knot. Now, if y'all have never tried these, race to the stove because I swear they'd be only having two boxes left. So I got the last two. Honestly, I really did get the last two. These garlic knots, if you cook them right, Boy, stop playing. You you see how he pulled that apart? Show him you pulled it apart again. You see how you see how doughy that is? <coughs> Some people not doughy bread people, but I love a doughy bread. What you think? I like it. That's a definite plus to the actual entree. Mm-hmm. So I think I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna work on my potatoes because I think they could be seasoned better. Maybe I should like season them while they're in the pot after they're boiled and then add the butter and then do it like that. So, you know, I'll know what to do next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this. Make some for Lex too. Hopefully she likes it as well. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Leave comments down below because I love interacting with y'all. Also head over there to Instagram at It's Life Size Barb. And you know, stay stay active over there too. You know, peace. <laughs>